This is a brief discussion of the reactions of the family of carbohydrates. The first reaction that we will look at is the oxidation of the aldehyde group to a carboxylic acid. The second reaction is the reduction of the carbonyl to produce an alcohol group. We have seen the formation of stable monosaccharides, hemiacetals, which is the reaction between the alcohol on carbon number 5 or nahexose with the aldehyde group. We will look at the reaction between a monosaccharide with an alcohol to form a glycoside or with another carbohydrate to form a glycosidic bond and at the same time a disaccharide. Monosaccharides can also react with heterocyclic amines to produce nitrogen glycosidic bonds. The last thing to discuss will be the hydrolysis of disaccharides. Myeloxidizing reagents oxidize the aldehyde group in an aldose to form a carboxylic acid group. This is not a reaction of the cyclic hemiacetal monosaccharide, but it is a reaction of the open chain which exist as traces during muta rotation between the alpha anomer and the beta anomer. The oxidation of analdose by Benedict's reagent is used in a clinical test for monosaccharides in urine. Carbohydrates that react with mild oxidizing reagents are classified as reducing sugars. Glucose and fructose are reducing sugars because they will reduce copper in the Benedict reagent in basic solution to form the brick red precipitate. In organic chemistry, we learn that aldehydes get oxidized to carboxylic acid, but ketones do not get oxidized. Fructose is a ketose. However, you might not predict that this is a reducing sugar. There is an interconversion between fructose and glucose in basic solution due to the presence of the neighbor hydroxyl group on carbon number one. Under basic conditions, a ketone that has a hydrogen atom on the carbon adjacent to the carbonyl carbon undergoes a rearrangement. Galactose is one of the components of lactose, a disaccharide found in milk. Upon hydrolysis of lactose, a free unit of galactose and one of glucose are released. The metabolism of galactose requires the interconversion of galactose into glucose. If the enzyme that converts galactose into glucose is missing, galactose is toxic. Excess of galactose can be reduced to form an alcohol group that can produce the cloudiness of the lens of the eye. This is a reduction of the aldehyde to an alcohol. In similar fashion, we have the glucoses found in berries and fruits are also reduced to alditol, which are naturally sweeter than glucoses. The next reaction is the formation of the hemiacetol to produce the stable structures of monosaccharides. We have discussed that the hydroxyl of carbon number 5 of glucose can react with the carbonyl to produce a mixture of an alpha anomer and a beta anomer. This is a hemiacetol because it has an OH and an OR. A cyclic hemiacetol beta anomer 
is more abundant than the alpha anomer, is more stable than the alpha anomer. The cyclic form of glucose is called a pyranose. This is an alpha anomer of glucose that can react with an alcohol molecule. This is a hemiacetol because it has an OH and an OR that upon reaction with one molecule of alcohol can produce a glycoside. This is now an acetol that has what is called a glycosidic bond. We observe that the pyranose upon formation is a hemiacetol because it has an OH and it has an OR. Upon reaction with the molecule of methanol, we get an acetol in which we have now an OR and a second OR. In the reaction, one molecule of water is lost. Formation of a disaccharide is the reaction between the anomeric carbon of one unit with the hydroxyl group of a second unit of monosaccharide. This is, is the reaction between the hemiacetol with the hydroxyl or alcohol group of a second unit of monosaccharide. The reaction is described as a dehydration because in the process one molecule of water is lost. The product will be an acetol or a glycosidic bond. The product of this dehydration is lactose, a disaccharide that is made out of one galactose and one glucose. Disaccharides are described by what are the monomers that are forming them and what is the type of glycosidic bond that connects them. Lactose is made out of a galactose and a glucose and the type of bond is a beta 1,4. We need to pay close attention to this glycosidic bond. We have two sugar units, a galactose and a glucose, forming a glycosidic bond. This is beta 1,4. Glycosidic bonds are acetols where one OR is part of one ring and the second OR is coming from the second sugar unit. Now we are going to explore the pentose ribose, which is important because it is the one found in the molecule of RNA. This pentose will also form the stable hemiacetol. It has five carbons. This is the anomeric carbon one, two, three, four, and five. The beta anomer of ribose will react with nitrogen bases to form beta nitrogen glycosidic bonds. These are the ones found in DNA and also in RNA. The last reaction is the hydrolysis of disaccharides. Disaccharides are hydrolyzed by enzymes by strong acid or by strong bases. In this case, lactose is hydrolyzed by the enzyme lactase to produce a free galactose and a free glucose.